Hi, everybody. I'm back. Good evening. Anyway, this video won't be very, very long. And y'all know how I begin all my videos. This will be a little short prayer. I prayed earlier, but I still have to always honor God. Anyway, Father God, I come to you as humbly as I know how. I ask you to please, please keep us all surrounded in the white lights of Jesus so no harm or danger come near our homes, family, or our kids. Lord, I ask you to cover us, Lord. I ask you to bring us healing, restoration. Bring us focus, bring us peace, bring us love, bring us joy, and bring us happiness, Lord. I ask you to please guide us and let us do right by one another. Let us love one another, honor one another, and respect one another, Lord. Cover, keep us, keep us in our right state of mind and encourage us and lift, the, lift us up where we turn down, Lord. I thank you for providing a shelter. I thank you for providing clothes to go on our back. I thank you for providing food and drink for the body, Lord. I thank you for keeping us in our right state of mind, Lord. I thank you for the movement of our limbs, Lord. I thank you for each and every one that does watch my videos, Lord. I even thank you for the ones that don't, Lord. I ask you to continue to heal guide us strengthen us and keep us focused in your holy name i pray amen amen and amen y'all this this one gonna be short i know my videos be a little lengthy but that don't matter people don't even have to watch it the whole way through just watch it enough to get a little inspiration but anyway i don't know why it was laid on my heart and my mind and i know like i said we're gonna talk about a lot of the same things over and over again because it's all about what comes to my spirit and my mind at the time. But anyway, y'all, depression is real, it's serious, and it's rough. People battling with mental health is real, it is serious, and it's rough. People shouldn't have to feel ashamed about when they're going through something or feel bad about seeking help. Because the time that we're in, like I said, with this pandemic going on and this social distancing, we're able to get out a little bit more now and people losing their lives and losing family members. It's rough. And it ain't just that. It was already rough before then. It was like we're in an every, everyday battle with not just energies, but with ourselves. And when something is going on with your mind, it affects your body. It affects your soul. It affects your spirit. Well, anyway, I have a lot of compassion for others. And I want people to know this. My tears are not always from sadness. My tears can come from joy. My tears can come from me being happy, from me being thankful and grateful. Because you know what? God didn't have to wake me up this morning, but he did. He didn't have to make wake my children up, my grandbaby up this morning, but he did. He didn't have to wake my loved ones up this morning, but he did. Y'all, I just want each and every one of us to be more loving, more caring, more kind. We don't know what the other person has been through or is going through with their mental health. We can look at anger and get mad because somebody else is angry, but it could be something that they're going through. They could be going through some kind of form of depression or anything. Just look at people's facial expressions. We have to be more aware. That's, that's, that's what this video is about. Being more aware of our surrounding, of people that's around us. Um, Saying hello by waving at somebody, just throwing up your hands. It could mean the world to somebody that's going through depression or having mental health issues. It really can. Sometimes when people acting out, they're not just acting out just because they're mean or nasty or angry or upset or losing it. They could be acting out because they could be suffering some, for some, from some mental health issues. It's important for us to know that if we get in a place that's too dark for us to handle it, even with some time we're praying, please, 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 everybody, feel free to go and seek you some professional help. We get in this habit of thinking we can't seek help when we really, really need it. 
some of us suffer loss. Like I said, some of us suffer heartache, heartbreak. Some of us just suffer everyday hurt. Some of us lose jobs, have lost jobs. Some of us, some of us have lost children, husbands, wives, sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles. Just family members in general. And we don't know how to handle it. When I lost my dad, I was in a place that was so dark, I can't even describe it, y'all. That loss was so hard, I was so angry about the whole situation, but I'm not getting in all of it. But I was so angry, and it took me years to recover from that. When I tell y'all how many times that I have felt like that I actually want to take my own life, I want to just take some pills and go to sleep and not wake up. It was just that serious and just that real. And I have to be open and honest about that. Because I know that I'm not the only one. I know that there's a lot of people that's suffering from losses. From losing their loved ones. People that's really, really close from them. Close to them. I know what it feel like. And I want you to know today that you're not alone. You're never alone. There's other people out there that suffer with you. And stop suffering in silence. Talk to somebody. Talk to somebody that you're close to. If you can't find nobody that you're close to and you run across, across my page, know that you can talk to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know I'm sitting up here today with my little makeup on. I can't look bad all the time. But anyway, I couldn't even sit down and watch TV because I knew I had to get this message out. I had to drop this video. Be aware of your surroundings and people, the expressions on people's face. Because a lot of times people be crying out for help and they don't even know where to begin. They don't even know how to seek help. They in such a dark place in their lives. They don't even know how to ask nobody for the help. So, like I told you, you're not alone. It is people that care, that genuinely, genuinely care. Because I don't care who may not like me. I don't care who hate me in their heart. I don't care about that. I genuinely love people. I can sit there and listen to another person, person's story, somebody that's, that's going through, and I can really be sitting there, and I will be in tears. I find myself in tears or hurt, or maybe my facial expression may change, but I want y'all to know this. I may cry. I may laugh. I may scream. I may hoop. I may holler. I may pray, and sometimes I may curse. I can't even tell nobody no story because I can sit on these videos and I can tell y'all stories all day and last. But God sees it all. But I'm just being honest because I'm still a work in the makers making. I got a long road to go, but I can see a great change. And God, for that, I tell you thank you, genuinely from the bottom of my heart to the top of my heart, from the inside of my heart to the outside of my heart. Because I know it ain't nobody but you. I thank God for keeping me covered. Covering not only me, but my children. And I know he's going to continue to cover all my generations to come. Because that's my prayer. For the generation of curses to be stopped and be broken. Right here at me. All this depression. And all this darkness. And all these suicidal thoughts. And all this unworthiness. And all these spirits of lack and fear and all that. I kick them right on out the way. Kick them, kick them, kick them, kick them out the way because I'm not claiming all that. I still may be going through rough times, and you will too. But if you need professional help, if it gets that bad and you feel like you're in your darkest space, get up out of that bed and go get you some help. I started back walking and exercising and moving my body because I want to heal y'all from the inside out. I hope y'all take this walk with me and decide today, right now, that you really and truly want to be healed. Everybody might not believe in God, but I do. I have to always put him first in my life. And I know that I don't have to keep explaining it, but I don't want people that don't to feel like they can't watch this video or they don't. They can't receive anything from this video because of that. Because at the end of the day, everybody is working to make it. We all go through things. We all go through dark hours. But people need to know they're not going through it alone. I can't take accountability, accountability for nobody else but myself. I'm telling you, if you're going through something and you happen to run across this, this video and you feel like you're alone, hit the comments if you can. And leave a link or something where I can get in touch with you. Or leave just leave your name where I can pray for you. Where I can really 
throw some positive energy in your life and let you know it's going to be okay because it's the worst thing in the world. It's the worst thing in the world to feel depressed and in darkness and lonely and to think that you don't have nobody there when it's somebody willing to be there. I've been through a lot of struggles and a lot of hardships in my life, but you know what? But God, it raised me up to be the woman that I am today. And for that, I tell God, thank you. But anyway, I want you to know, honestly and truly, you're not alone. Please hit me up if you need me. I know ain't a lot of people watching my videos right now, but that ain't that ain't that ain't the purpose of them. Even if it changed one life, even if, if I inspire one person to keep pushing and to do better, that's going to be enough for me. But I'm not claiming that. I'm claiming that it's going to reach a whole lot of people. Everything takes time. I'm claiming that no matter what, Lord. Whatever, no matter what, Lord, as long as the Lord is beside me and walking with me, it's going to reach the people that need to reach. People going to get something from it that need to receive something from it. Yes, somebody told me today that my videos were long. And yes, they do be long. But I'm glad that the, I get the right words in my mouth. And I'm able to even make those videos long because I'm not a big talker and want to get in front of a camera. But I'm glad that God is building me strong enough and, and, and building me forward tough that I can be able to get in front of these cameras and give y'all these messages and share with y'all these testimonies and some of the things that I went through and some life lessons that I went through. And um, I'm trying to make them all about my stories, but some of them may not be. It's just, this may be stories in general, but it ain't about no particular person. I don't want nobody to feel like I'm stepping on their toes. I know that I talk a little fast sometimes. And if I'm talking too fast for you, just tell me. Stephanie, slow it down. Leave it in the comments. And I try to be a more accountable and talk a little slower. But I've been talking fast all my life. But anyway, like I said, please Start looking at people's facial expression, facial expression, and if you got to just throw up your hands, wave your hand, is that that's all you can do. If you ain't used to speaking to somebody, nobody saying hello and goodbye or how you doing, that's fine because I want the person used to doing that. If people didn't speak to me, then I wouldn't speak. But you know what? That's not the right energy for us to walk in. That's not the right way for us to be because we don't know even know our facial expressions. And I'm going to be honest with you. I know I can have a lot of messed up facial expressions. And I know I go through a lot of emotions. And I know that I have a lot of issues that I still need to work on. But I also know that God has brought me a long, long way. He has did a lot of things for me. He's encouraged me and lifted me up when I was torn down so low that I couldn't see my way out. He has pushed me through things that I didn't think I could come through. When I was in the hospital laying up there for 14 days and I didn't want to be here no more because the pain was so unbearable, he brought me through. When my son laid up in the hospital dying, he told me to pray, to not anger, to not put my focus on nothing but, my, but him and my child and knowing my child was going to be okay. And I did that. His story is his story, but I'm just saying he, he is mine, so it's part of my story. So when I put my my faith in God and I trusted him and I believed that he was going to bring my son through. He did just that. So for that, I'm always thankful. I'm grateful. And I know if he brought me through a lot of these storms and trials and tribulations and these, and these things that I've been through in my life, he can also bring you through. So just be like I said, be more open, be more open and understanding, caring and kind and looking pe at people's facial expressions because people ain't going to always tell when they're going through nothing. You just look at the expression on their face. Even when they look angry, that angry might not always be angry. It may just be hurt. It just may be they have had losses and they can't handle it. And just throw up your hands if you can't ask them how they're doing and start a general little conversation because everybody ain't down for talking to everybody. But just throw up your hands and say, hello, how you doing? And you know what? It can, it can, it can. It can bring people a lot of joy. It can break down a lot of strongholds, a lot of barriers, a lot of darkness in people's lives. You know, and even just apologizing. When you know you've done somebody wrong, go and say, I'm sorry. Even if you go back the next day and you do it again because you could be dealing with some issues of your own. Just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can honestly and truly say whoever I wronged in this lifetime and I have did some wrongs. I can genuinely say today that I am sorry. And will you please, please forgive me? Some may and some may not. 
I may have did them so wrong they feel like they can't forgive me. But that's another thing. Don't stay stuck in unforgiveness. Unforgiveness will tell you, chew you up and spit you out. It will. Not only do you have to forgive them, you got to try to forget. I know it's hard because I'm battling with that now. That's why I'm saying it. Because I'm stepping on my own toes. I'm battling with forgiving a person but not forgetting. If I'm not forgetting, is I'm truly forgiving? Am I truly forgiving the people that wronged me? If I can't forget, it keeps you stuck too. But anyway, I said I don't want to keep y'all long. I'm trying to keep my word. But I love these little conversations that be going down anyway. I hope y'all like my little makeup, trying to change the tone, my little head wrap. I try to make it look cute for y'all today because I know I be having on them scarves and stuff. There's still a scarf, but I try to twist it up for y'all. But I hope y'all like it. Keep your head up. Keep winning. Keep pushing. Know you can do it. If I can, anybody can. Know you can do it. Know you're not alone. Please like, share, and subscribe to my page so we can get it out to the universe, out to the world. Even if you don't like me, y'all, this might touch somebody else. It could be touch somebody close to you and you don't even know it because they don't want to share it with you. Please, please let people receive this message. It ain't about that. The 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 way you feel about me in your heart. It's about us helping others. It's about us helping others genuinely from the bottom of our hearts. But anyway, y'all, like, share, and subscribe. Know you can do it. Keep pushing through that darkness. There's always a rainbow at the end of every storm. You hear me? There's always a rainbow at the end of everybody's storm. Keep pushing. Stay in the game. Stay in the fight. Keep winning. I know you can do it. God created you for a tough. He created you strong. Keep on going. Keep having compassion for one another. Keep loving one another. Keep pushing, striving to be great and know you're worthy. Anyway, I love each and every one of you. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Know you can do it. I know you can do it. Keep pushing. Keep encouraging one another. And know that. I love you if nobody else don't. Mwah.